This was my Super Bowl 2020 dinner for my family and me. I made fish tacos, nachos, and chocolate chip cookies for dessert. Please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and give it a thumbs up, and you will be notified of new upcoming videos. First up, I am going to make the fish into strips and I'm going to dip it in the batter and normally you would deep fry it but I'm going to pan fry it just to cut down on the oil. Okay so I've got the fish all done they cut into little strips like that about two and a half inches or maybe two inches and try and keep them the same size so that they will all cook at the same speed. I've got two eggs which I've be beaten in the bowl here to which I'm going to add my Beer. The beer is one and a half cup. I'm going to add a quarter cup of uh, cornstarch, one tablespoon of baking soda, and one cup of all purpose flour with a pinch of salt. And I'm going to mix it all together. So I've added the beer to my egg mixture, and I am going to uh, put my flour in here because I'm going to dip the fish into this and then deep fry it. And then I have my fish and I've taken two tablespoons of the all-purpose flour and I'm just going to lightly dredge the fish in the, the batter because then when you dip it into the batter, the batter uh, hugs onto the fish. So I'm going to pan fry it. Make sure the oil is really hot and I'm going to have to use a grapeseed oil because the heating goes to a higher point then with olive oil. So while my oil is heating up, I am gonna get my avocado salsa that goes on my fish tacos ready. I'm taking three avocados. I'm gonna use three quarter cup of sour cream, which I'm gonna put in my blender. And um, two jalapenos. I'm gonna scoop those seeds out. I take my knife and I go right around the avocado like that, and then I twist it like that and it comes apart. Take the knife, hit the seed and twist and the seed comes out. I normally just dice them a little bit like that and then I scoop it out with a spoon and it goes right into my blender like that. I'm going to throw my little peppers in. I think I'm going to use one and a half in case it's too hot. Okay, so now we need the zest and juice of one lime. As you know, I like the um, Grater that's a little wider because I like to taste the lemon rind. So I'm just going to do that. Be careful not to get the white part of the lemon lime in your salsa here. And the lime helps keep the avocado from going black. Cut my lime in half and I'm squeezing it into this. The other half, I'm going to get a nice handful of cilantro and put it in here and I'm going to blend it. Maybe add some salt to taste. And I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to have a few squirts of the green Tabasco. I like it spicy, so about, I put a teaspoon. I've used about four chopped teaspoon, uh, tablespoons of cilantro. I put it on the blender, turned it on, and I'm gonna put this ready. I'm gonna put it in an airtight container and put it aside. Container and I'm gonna put it in the fridge. My oil is nice and hot. I've put about a quarter cup, and I'm gonna take my fish, I'm gonna dip it into my batter like that and then just put it in to fry. Because it's been dredged in flour, um, the batter sticks to it. I have a set of tongs to be able to flip them over to be easier. I'm gonna let it go golden and then I'm gonna flip it over to the other side. Just do it once and then take it off and you let it drain in a strainer with a paper towel. I've just flipped them over and they are beautiful golden brown. Make sure you stay close and watch this because you don't want it to burn. They're ready to come out. It's I've used about three quarter cup of oil, but you have to go according to what you think is right. Here's my finished product. The fish is all ready. I'm gonna put it in the oven on this tray just to keep warm on a very, very low oven of like 100 degrees. Now I'm gonna make the pico de gallo, which goes with my fish tortillas. Uh, you can use tacos as well. I've got two cloves of garlic and I'm going to slice them up really fine. I'm going to chop it up small. I've got the half of the jalapeno pepper that I'm going to cut into small little dices. Two tomatoes. I'm going to dig the seeds out of it and then dice it up small and one small onion and a handful of cilantro. 
These are the tortillas that I bought. Um, it has ancient grains in this one. And this one has spinach. I figured since they don't eat a lot of greens, so there goes their greens. And they are bugging for tacos, so I have this hard shell taco um, cases as well. I'm gonna put it on a cookie tray and keep it warm in the oven till my guests get here. I scoop out the seeds from in here like that, and then I dice this up small, and I'm gonna dice up my, my jalapenos done, and I'm gonna dice up my onion. So I'm gonna use the rind um, of this lime. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of olive oil in here. One, two. I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon of salt and about two tablespoons of cilantro and just a pinch of pepper, not a lot. Stir and put it in the fridge. All done. I'm now going on to make chocolate ch chip cookies with melted salt on top. It really gives it a good salty crunch and it complements the sweet. Um, I've used two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of butter, which is two sticks, and I'm gonna mix that in with my brown sugar, one and a quarter cups, just like that, and I'm gonna blend that together. The butter and the sugar have blended properly together. I'm gonna crack, oops, um, yeah, I'm gonna crack my egg in here. My butter and my sugar have been blended together, so I added one egg in there, and I'm gonna blend it. I'm gonna, on a pass, part, piece of parchment paper, I'm gonna um, sift together my two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna sift this all together and add it, incorporate it to my mixture here and blend it out. I've made a little bit more than I normally would, but I'm gonna be uh, freezing half my batch for baking at another time, so it's all prepared and I just pull it out. And then in another cup, I'm measuring one and a half cups of, of um, milk chocolate chips. It's one and a half cup. I'm just gonna incorporate this. So I've creamed that together and I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla essence, one teaspoon, and I'm going to add a little bit of the flour, mix it and keep adding it till it all gets incorporated. So now I'm going to add my chocolate chips, all of them to my batter and give it a nice blend. My dough is all ready. I'm going to put half aside to freeze for next time and I'm going to use half right now. I've taken a piece of parchment paper and put it on a baking tray like this. I'm gonna keep it ready. Um, and I've used a little ice cream scoop. I've got two sizes, but I've taken the little one. And I'm gonna scoop out little balls like that onto the tray and I'm gonna space them out evenly, leaving about an inch and a half space between each. I've heated my oven to 350 so it heats up and I'm going to keep doing this. I normally usually make um, chicken wings but this year I thought oh I must have been nachos. It felt like a Mexican theme and these cookies really complement the meal. Now I'm going to give it a little press down on top with the back of my ice cream scoop. The pink melted salt and I put little flakes on top of each. I kind of just press them into the top. The salty flavor really complements the chocolate chips in this cookie. And I'm gonna bake it for 30 minutes and I'm gonna check it on 350. So now I'm gonna empty this out onto another piece of parchment paper. I've just made it into like a little log, roll it in this parchment paper, in the Ziploc bag and into the freezer for next time. There you go, date on there in the freezer. This is the Super Bowl. I'm gonna serve some Doritos, like nachos, and I'm gonna put that on my tray. I've put a bit of foil on there so it's easy clean up. When the cheese melts, it kind of doesn't get all messy. Now I'm making my nachos. I'm just sprinkling about a cup of shredded uh, Tex-Mex cheese, pizza mozzarella, cheddar, Montgomery Jack, and quesadilla. A bit of my salsa. I'm gonna use my hand because it's just easier. I'm just gonna sprinkle the onion and tomato that I did earlier. 
just a little bit on there. I forgot to get jalapenos. I normally get the pickled ones, but I don't have it. So that's gonna go in the oven and I'm gonna put a little bit of guacamole on there. I'm using a bit of the pre-made guacamole because I have a lot of it in the fridge and I'm just gonna put a little dollops all over. It'll melt into this mixture. And this is gonna go into the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. The cheese will just melt into it and it'll be really good to eat while we're watching the game. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the salsa. And again, I'm doing the store-bought one because I've been prepping the other meal and just wanted to make it easy. A little bit of salsa on there. Sprinkle a little bit of the cilantro that I have left over. It's about a tablespoon. Cajun sauce that I got at Walmart. And it's got a lemony taste to it. So instead of putting lemon on there, I'm doing that. As you can tell, the cheese is very stringy but it is absolutely delicious. I serve them in these little plates that we used to use when the kids were little, the little pirate plates, plastic. A healthy alternative for myself. So I've taken lettuce leaf. I'm gonna add some of my salsa and the guacamole. And, whoops. I'm going to add the fish. This is just one alternative. And then I just kind of wrap it together and eat it. The alternative, you put the sauce down like so. You add the salsa on there. And then you add the fish. And then you roll that up. It really does taste fantastic. Huh? And this is the third option. You use a taco, and I would put this in first. It's kind of messy, but my kids wanted this. I prefer the tortillas. And then you put the sauce in there. And then you put the fish. I'm just gonna use my fingers because it's easier. And then there's your tacos. Just a little bit of salt added to these cookies gets all the flavors in your mouth going. You got the salt and the sweet, and it's just yummy. My nachos also were a big hit. It was all gone in a matter of seconds. This dinner was fresh and easy to make. We have a few different options as to how you could serve the fish. All, all around, it was a big hit, and I hope you guys will try and recreate it. Thanks for watching. Look who's waiting for her bit. She had a good run around and um, I guess she's looking for crumbs now. <laughs>